On today's episode of Do It Yourself, I made vanilla and strawberry ice cream and I decided to share this recipe with you guys. Trust me, it's so nice. And if you want to enjoy ice cream to your satisfaction, you have to make it yourself at home, right? For this recipe, I'm going to be using whipped cream powder. You can use any product of your choice. I use this particular brand because that's what I could find around. So I used two cups of this powdered whipped cream. If you can find the liquid whipping cream around you, you can use that as well. After measuring the powdered whipping cream into your bowl, the next thing is to add is your cold water, your chilled water. If you have cold milk, you can actually use it for this process. You can use cold milk of the same quantity if you do enjoy very, very milky ice cream. But this was also very milky because you're going to see what I substituted with that. So I added like two and a half cups of this cold water. For this ice cream, if you don't have a hand mixer or a stand mixer, you can actually use your normal whisks to make this ice cream because you don't need it to be very strong or to whip it till it's stiff peak. So you can actually pull that up using just your whisks. The making of this ice cream using whipping cream powder is totally different from making the cream you use in covering your cakes because in this particular procedure, you are not going to whip it till it's stiff peak. So you're going to whip it gradually and at this point I added condensed milk. I used just half cup of condensed milk to make this ice cream and trust me it was totally good. But if you want something very much sweet, you can still add more if you want to. It's totally up to you. You are going to combine the condensed milk you just added and just you know mix it just to combine. No over mixing here guys. So I added my vanilla extract because I'm about to pull up a vanilla ice cream, right? So this is why I added vanilla. If you have any other flavor that you love, you can add it at this point. So the next thing is to combine it. If you're watching up to this moment, thank you so much. And it simply means you enjoyed watching this content and you find it very helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. It's going to help other people who might also be interested in this recipe to find it. So at this point, we have gotten to the consistency that we need, which is not so sticky, not so thick, not so thin. As you can see, it's very okay for an, it's already creamy and it's so yummy at this point. So I decided to share some to make strawberry ice cream because I'm not really a fan of strawberry ice cream, but I had to make it for the sake of this video, but trust me, it was nice. So the small amount I cut out for my strawberry, I added the strawberry flavor in it. I also had a leftover Oreo biscuit at home and I decided to use it and do the toppings. And trust me, this was very nice. If you don't have this biscuit, you can totally skip it. But if you do, please use it. It's so nice. So I just, you know, mixed in some portion into the ice cream and I also sprinkled some on top of it. One thing about being in this channel and subscribing to my channel is I'm going to find out how to do everything by yourself in case you like to do things by yourself. I'm going to teach you a lot of recipes that you find so helpful in your home. So after that, I'm going to cover this with a cling film and you know seal it up so I can put it in my refrigerator. This cling film is going to help you not to take up any taste in your fridge or in your freezer. Is going to protect it against any of that I kept it in my freezer overnight because I made this video at night so onto my strawberry I already mixed it I'm already mixing it sorry and as you can see it was kind of hard so I'm going to advise you that when you're making yours you can just make it in a separate bowl and then pour into the container you want to store it in but nevertheless the main thing is to mix it all in right I don't want to wash so many dishes after that. That's why I used one plate for everything. So this is just me trying to mix everything all in. One thing about using oil-based extracts is that a little goes a long way. You don't have to put so much of the um, flavor for you to get what you want. Just a little bit of the strawberry gave me this beautiful color. So just like the vanilla, I covered it in a cling film and kept it in my freezer till the next morning. 
If you're making it during the day, you can time yourself for like six to eight hours. The ice cream can also be ready for as low as two to three hours, depending on how you like your ice cream. Mine stayed overnight and it came out very, very strong that I couldn't even scoop the ice cream. So I had to keep it on my tabletop to melt for some minutes before I was able to serve it in a plate. But nevertheless, it came out so delicious, guys. Trust me. This recipe is a banger and it's so creamy and yummy. Like, the perfect taste. Will you be trying this recipe? If you are going to try it, tell me in the comment section or tag me whenever you make your video. And I would love to see that. So, this is the ice cream. You can serve it in your plate, store in your fridge and enjoy as well. Thank you for watching. Bye.